Hey you guys, it's Ivy. I know. Where have I been? I know you guys, we gotta catch up. But today we're gonna be doing a hair video and I got this all new hair from Desor Hair, okay? So this is their 20 inch crochet full lace wig, okay? And what I found about this wig that I really liked, I love the hair texture. I think they updated like the quality of the hair. It feels way, way better than it's felt in the past. And I really like that this wig is kind of like a, um, a silk based wig. If you guys don't know what a silk base is, like years and years and years and years ago, I'm old y'all, we used to wear like silk based closures. And it looks like they kind of attached one in the center of this wig. And as you guys can see, it's right there. And what's so special about this is that it looks like real scalp, you guys. Like, you don't have to bleach the knots. This is how the wig looks directly out of the package. And it just blends really, really seamless. It's nice and flat. It's not bulky at all like silk base um, wigs used to be. It's very, very nice and flat, just like a regular lace frontal wig, okay? The only thing you're going to have to do is go in and tint your um, silk base if you are my complexion. So this is how the wig looks when you first put it on. And it looks, you guys, it looks so good. It lay really, really nice and flat. I'm definitely gonna start getting back into these um, silk base wigs because they just it just looks so realistic. I love the way it looks sitting there. It looks, you know, you can't, you know, it's unclockable, okay? So, um, what I'm gonna do is go in and tack this down. And this is how it looks. I haven't plucked it. I haven't done anything, you guys. This is straight out of the box and it looked so good. I was just lining it up just to see how it um, measures on my head and it matched up with my own hairline perfectly. It looks really good and this does come pre-plugged. Of course, you can go in and add your own little flair to it just to make it look more natural, but it looked pretty good to me. And I'm gonna go in and um, just make my parting area straight. And I like to use my blow dryer just to press everything into place. It's really important to make sure you um, press everything into place or either mold it down because you want your wig to look nice and natural. You don't want it to look lumpy and bumpy or anything like that. And now I'm gonna take my tint spray and I do have a video coming up really soon showing you guys how to make your own tint spray at home. And all I did was spray that in the parting area of my unit. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer just to dry that on up. And I'm gonna use my tweezers just to tweeze it a little bit in the front. Because when you do have like a silk base closure mixed with a lace closure, it is kind of full in the area where the lace and the silk meets. But all you have to do is give it a little pluck and it looks completely natural. Like, I was so in love with like not seeing my knots. I've definitely been wearing this wig out for the last few days. And I am gonna take a little bit of um, powder and just put it right there in the lace, just to help everything blend further. And it just looked so good right off the back, you guys. I really love this silk base. And now I'm gonna be using the bed head spray. Thanks, Boo Laracia, for the uh, recommendation. I do really like this spray. And I'm gonna use this um, just to tack down my lace. But first, I'm gonna go in and cut the lace first. And they did update the lace on their units from Desore Hair. This lace was really nice and thin, and it melted into my skin so good, you guys. Like, it matched so good. I didn't have to do any baby hair or anything like that. I wanted to wear this unit, um, you know, with that more so natural look. And now I'm just spraying a little bit of spray on my head and I'm gonna go ahead and pull my lace on top of it. And now I'm just gonna tack that down and I'm using my blow dryer just to dry everything into place. This spray works a lot faster than got to be spray, so you have to move fast. You have to move really, really fast, but I really like the hold of it. 
And now I'm gonna be using this Beyond the Zone spray. And I like to spray this just on the edges of my unit and brush it into place. When I'm not doing baby hairs, this is how I like to, you know, make everything look nice and finished and seamless looking. Now I'm going to go in and flat iron this hair out and this hair flat ironed really good and I did have my flat iron on the highest setting and the hair didn't burn or give me any type of issues. It wasn't tangling, it wasn't shedding and I really like this new um, hair texture and the luster of it. It looks very luxurious, very rich, okay? Even though this wig is very affordable, it still gives you that very rich full and pretty look. And now I'm going in just to clip the ends. The hair needed a little trim. If you guys are interested in this unit, definitely check out the description bar below. I thought it looked really pretty. It definitely gives you that nice wrap look. I like the color of the hair. It is nice and dark. It's kind of like a um, really dark like 1B color. And I was feeling it. I thought it looked really, really cute on me. You guys know this is my style. Very nice, very sleek, okay? Really, really cute. Very nice and very sleek. You can't go wrong when you wear your hair like this, y'all. Like, And you saw how easy this was to put on. It was such a simple unit to make look flawless. I really liked that I didn't have to do any bleaching of the knots and all of that work. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if um, silk base Frontals are going to make a comeback because they're, you guys, they're pretty awesome. I almost forgot about them. I'm definitely going to be on the hunt for more of them now that I've tried this one. And if you guys are interested in my shirt, I got this shirt from American Eagle Outfitters. My lip gloss is Mink from Bare Minerals. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Please don't forget to thumb it up, comment below, and subscribe. Make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a video. It's 2020, you guys. I'm really gonna try to work on posting a lot more. I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys wondering where I've been at. I got a whole video coming up soon. So thanks again for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.